Hi, Sanders School friends. Today is a quick video showing us how to make a ball with a pair of socks. So this is super beneficial if, first of all, you don't have a ball and we're doing a throwing and catching game, or if you live in a small space like I do and you don't want to use something like a soccer ball or a football that could easily get thrown and knock something down. So socks can be used to make a ball. All we do is we roll them up into a sock ball. So what I like to use is my ski socks. So I take these and all I do is I fold one over the other and just roll it up into a ball. And then here we go. I have something I can use to toss and catch that if it goes flying that way, it's not going to hit anything. So take that sock ball. You can practice your throwing and catching with it. You can practice bowling with it towards an object. If you want to make it a little bit bigger too, this is one pair of socks. I can just take another pair of socks and add to it. So when I do this, I have my rolled up pair here. I'm just going to take this other pair of socks and roll one at a time over this one so it makes it a little bit bigger. And then I'll take the other ones and roll this over here to make it a little bit larger until I have a ball that's a little bit bigger for me to throw and catch. So same thing, I can practice tossing and catching Remembering that when I catch, if it's below my head, my pinkies are together. If it's above my head, my thumbs are together. So same thing, throwing and catching in a space, I'm in my house, and I don't have to worry about where it's going to go. A couple of other things I can do here is if you have a family member, you can throw and catch with them back and forth. Also, we can set up a bowling game with our sock ball. So, I'll show you what I have set up here. What I'm using is my foam roller. You can use anything that you have. Maybe it is a pillow on the ground that you throw down and you can use. Maybe it's another pair of socks that you leave on the ground. Anything you have is a target that is soft and it's something that when it rolls over and you hit it, it's not going to break or it's not going to break. Something else is perfect. So I have my foam roller here and I'm just setting it up in front of me like a target. I'm going to practice my underhand toss like it's a bowling ball and I'm trying to toss my sock ball to that object. So same thing, underhand toss. I step with my opposite foot forward, swing back and toss to try to hit my foam roller and knock it down. So you can play this as a game with a friend, with a family member, remembering that you have plenty of space for wherever you are going to be. So one more time, set up my foam roller bowling pin. Take my softball, I practice. I can set up a course here. All right, opposite foot forward, swing that arm back and there we go, hit it down. You can use multiple objects. You can use different objects. Be creative, see what you can come up with and see who you can gather with you in order to have a softball bowling game. All right, boys and girls, have a super awesome day today.